Hey everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast. Infinity, episode 13 on the FTB team server. Picking up right where I left off from last episode. We were working with some industrial craft getting started and we made ourselves a mining laser. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to charge this. Now, there's a lot of changes that have happened, it seems, since I have last played industrial craft. Last time I was working with it was in the Dark Trilogy and it still seems that even since then, quite a few things have changed. So it's nice to actually pick it back up and kind of see what all has exactly changed. But um, I think it was probably a good idea to go ahead and get that removed for the time being. The electric kinetic generator, I believe that was drawing constant power from this. I believe, yeah. All right, so that's probably a good thing we, we pulled that off for the time being. And I don't think I'm really gonna be needing this anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up with our wrench and I'm gonna just throw away the tiny piles of iron dust. I don't really feel like I'm gonna need that. I should probably also find myself a chest of some sorts to designate for industrial craft stuff later on. And I'll just pop a chest here randomly for now. Uh, that way, let's see, we'll put that and that in there. That way when we're you know setting up our airship later that we will have a, what are you doing, you mining laser? Why was you doing that? Uh, that way we'll have a, um, Whole setup for it, ready to move it relatively easily. So I think the reason why I couldn't charge my uh, mining laser is because I might need an MFE. So it's the next tier of power up from the CESU. So this is gonna require four energy crystals, which we saw how to make last episode, as well as a basic machine casing. So let's go ahead and get a few more of these set up. Oh, we don't have the hammer. Okay, well, this is why these Recipes are set up in there for us. So there we go, and then basic machine casing. There we are. And I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting 16 diamonds macerated. Yes, I said 16. Trust me, I don't wanna do it either. <laughs> That's a lot of diamonds to be macerating for a power source that we'll probably not be using very much. But unfortunately, we need it for the energy crystals. So I'm also gonna get some insulated gold running while we're doing that. So we just need a few gold ingots. I think I have some over here. So I'll just grab four, which is more than actually what I need. So we'll just get those knocked into gold plates and then down into gold cables. So I'm just gonna make up a bunch of those for now. That way I don't have to worry about them. Hopefully any more later on. Now to actually make these insulated, uh, you need two pieces of rubber instead of one on these. So I just need four for now and we'll leave these into the gold cable form for the time being. And um, I wouldn't mind getting a lot of this stuff out of here that I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be using for recipes right now. So we'll just toss those away. Um, I know I could probably use the copper cables in there and I don't think I'm gonna need you either. So today, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of terraforming and I believe we still got a little bit of time left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna head out and finish waiting for this to process. Clean up my inventory a little bit and I'll see you guys back in just a minute. Inventory cleaned up and finally finished macerating those 16 diamonds, which really kind of stinks. So there we go, we get ourselves a whole bunch of energy and dust and I believe that's everything we need. And now we just have to sit and wait for it to finish working in our compressor. So let's go ahead and get the Actual recipe set up here. Oh, that's an MFS. You quit moving everything around, NEI. You're making things more problematic than what it should be. All right, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. I'm gonna have to probably remove these manually, and I'll probably also have to remove those with these because they, I guess, it's just weird, I guess, how it works. So make sure you replace that recipe in there with the uh, correct one. So let's pull this guy out and another two. And there we are, our last energy crystal to make our MFE. So hopefully we'll be able to charge our mining laser in this guy. I'm gonna put him for now up here. So there we go, he's charging up. Love it. Thanks to our geothermal generators. This is outputting us 40 EU per tick, each one 20. So we should be doing good on lava still. Yeah, not too bad. Nice, so please tell me, oh, thank you, that we can put our mining laser in there, and we can. So this is slowly generating us up a little bit of um, 
charge in our mining laser. Wow. Okay, all right, I get it. You know what? I, I think someone's playing with weather or something on the server because <laughs> there's been a unnaturally large amount of thunderstorms lately and I don't know what is causing it. I think it's man-made. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Unless someone's really, really not happy with me doing all this blood magic. Mm, those ancient, ancient powers messing with me. All right, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of work out here, and that's gonna be thanks to our mining laser. Now, I wanna make this look kind of ancient, kind of buried into this uh, mountain here. Um, kind of like it was just you know, built uh, long, long ago and just kind of slowly over time, you know, being eroded and all that stuff. And I wanna clean it up in a bit as well. And I got an idea of what I'm gonna do for that. But I also wanna get some vines up and running. So I know there's a swamp north of here and I'm gonna start heading out that way now. In fact, I think, do I have any shears? I don't, so I'm probably gonna need to grab some of those. Um, oh, 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 chill out there, lab equipment. I don't need you doing all that. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Just because I'm going to turn weather down even further down to 10 because that is getting fairly loud and I think what I'm gonna do as well is see if I can make some steel shears nice hopefully those will last a little bit longer just in case I'm gonna probably bring two pieces of iron as well oops not three two so I'm gonna let that finish charging up and I'm gonna head down to that swamp and see if I can't pick up a load full of vines so I'll see you guys back when I get that accomplished all right guys back in the lab and mission accomplished i got a ton of vines and well my steel shears did a great job <laughs> they're pretty much almost broken there so i didn't have to use the iron to make any more um, iron shears and the steel shears actually broke the vines very quickly so i'm just gonna go ahead and like just toss some vines up here and show you guys i don't know i don't really know if the iron shears break them that quickly or not I don't just you know what let's just let's just look and see real quick because I am curious see if that saved me some time or not yeah that's what I thought the steer steel shears definitely broke those vines a lot faster so we'll put those away for now now the whole purpose of actually going to get those was to make from Batania a bunch of vine balls now if I remember right if we take this we can throw them I believe at a wall and that'll instantly make us a whole bunch of vines which I will use to decorate our altar area and I'm just going to pull those back out and get this picked back up oh, okay so those are different vines apparently so those we can't pick those back up oh all right well that's all right I don't mind one bit they're gonna be pretty much just for decoration anyway so we're just gonna make up a whole bunch of these and it would probably be faster because of work tables just to do it in, well, a work table. So let's see, let's set it up in this guy. So we'll just set up one recipe in there, put them all into the bottom of the work table, and we can make up a whole bunch of vine balls. And I got a few extras for later if I need them. Well, vines that is. And I'm just gonna toss away a few things. Fred had a few things to say about me picking up vines and I really didn't appreciate it. So unfortunately, Fred lost his head. I'll give it back to him later along with his friends. Uh, let's see what he gave us, though. He did give us a few ooh, goodies there. A little potion of night vision and a few guild coins. How are we doing up here? Pretty much fully charged, and our MFE is charging as well, which is good to see. So, if you haven't configured your mining laser, uh, preferably do it outside or in an open area to where your base might not have a chance to explode. <laughs> There's a there's a good chance you might damage something, so make sure you're pointing out in a way to where there's nothing that you're worried about getting destroyed. Make sure you also set up in your controls industrial craft, and I believe it's it should already be configured. I believe, hopefully, um, all you have to do is hold M on your keyboard, right click, and it'll cycle through all of the different modes available to our mining laser. So there's a low focus mode, pretty much just destroys one block, and it doesn't go very far. So couldn't really break anything like, I want to say like eight blocks away or anything, maybe less than that. Um, but maybe about five blocks away, we should be able to break, no problem. 
and should break the item and put it um, and place it on the ground, but did that one actually break one? I don't know if it did or not. All right, let's check out the next mode, long range. Well, it does exactly like, you know, low focus, but it goes a lot further. And uh, it can do more than one block. It uses a lot more power as well. So if we right click, we got horizontal, horizontal, ooh. You know what, let's do this one down here. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, hang glider, you better work. <laughs> hang glider didn't want to work there for a minute. Okay, um, let's pull out our air sigil. Ooh, I've been wanting to collect these with silk touch. There we go, that works. <laughs> that makes me happy. Uh, do I have any light? I guess not. All right, so let's see if horizontal works. There we go. So we got it pretty much shoots a straight line in the direction you're pointing. So um, if we're like angled, I guess I'll do angles as well. Um, I don't think you can shoot up with this one. So mining laser angle too steep. You just have to make sure it's on the same plane as uh, what you're looking at. So next mode is super heat. So this will pretty much do exactly like it says. It'll smelt whatever you shoot. So with that, we get our stone. And or we can do like, um, let's see, do we have any? Yeah, right here, copper. So there we go, copper. <laughs> and that uses a fair amount of power as well. Then we also have scatter. This one's very, very damaging to the terrain. Uh, be careful, because it would, it can also cause a little bit of F S eh, FPS drop. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, be careful with that one. That one's pretty damaging and uh, shoots in like all sorts of directions. Uh, and then lastly, we have explosive. And I believe actually there's another one. It's called mining. Uh, this is just for going mining, I suppose. Uh, so if you just like want to you know, grab a few blocks here and there, uh, you can do that with mining. Um, I specifically wanted the mining laser for explosive. This is what I'm going to use to ooh, ooh, make sure we can get up here to just kind of shape the area that I want around here. So let's get started with this. Have some fun, shall we? Nice. So this is going to damage pretty much everything around the top part of this. It's going to require a fair bit of power. So, because explosive does use... Ooh, careful. It's uh, a little damaging as well. <laughs> Don't get too close. Um, if I, I guess if I absolutely need to, I could probably jump down there and heal myself if I have to. But Oh, whoops. <laughs> Um, there's one death down, so, like I said, gotta be careful. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and can get out of here, continue working on this to kind of help shape it, um, to how I want it to look, and then I'll be back and show you guys pretty much what I'm wanting it to look like. So, I'll just do a little bit of work, uh, show you guys a progress update, and then, uh, continue working. So, give me just a minute to do a little bit, and then we'll continue uh, cleaning up this area. All right, a little bit of an update. We're out of power on our mining laser, so I need to get this charged up, but this is pretty much what I was able to do with one full charge on our mining laser. We could have probably done a little bit more without the all the testing and stuff, but um, I still got a little bit more to do. Thankfully, we have our MFE powered up enough to where this should be able to fully charge this, no problem. And I need to start cleaning out the inventory a little bit, so I'm going to continue working on this. The whole plan here is to pretty much clear this out in almost the shape of a dome, and then all the way up to the sunlight up there. So I want to make sure I have a little bit showing up there, so I'm going to work on that a bit more. And I'll meet you guys back here with another update in just a moment. All right, guys, I came back in to charge my mining laser, noticed my CESU, actually, I was doing a little bit of a power loop, it looked like, so I went ahead and picked it up with my wrench here. I went ahead and also wrenched the MFE this way, that way the uh, green side is facing outwards, and I'm gonna set up my CESU this way, so that way its green side is on the other side of this MFE here, and that way its power will start draining into the MFE. This making this kind of like the priority here, and this will also store like um, I guess like a, a backfill of a buffer of energy too. That way, if we drain out of the MFE, it'll start draining out of the CESU as well. And plus, we have them in our geothermal generators as well. I think up to forty thousand in each, so that's not too bad. 
And I think for now, we'll just pop that there. Just to help it look a little bit nicer for now. So I've pretty much just about finished this here. And I think this is looking pretty awesome. I like it. I think we just need a few more things to finish it up. I really want to get all the way through to the top up there. So I'm going to grab... Let's see. Let's do... I guess we'll just use cobblestone, right? You gotta be careful also. Make sure you don't right click on anything with your mining laser in your hand. That could turn out to be a pretty bad day. Really, really bad day actually. So let's see, let's come up this way just a little bit, make ourselves a little bit of a bridge. And I think our center should be right above our altar there. So if we just keep using our mining laser like this, we should very soon achieve daylight. Exactly when I wanted to see. Now I gotta do is start trimming up the sides here a little bit to make it look a little nicer. Ooh, careful. Try not to get too close to me, because last time that happened, explosions happened, and well, I, I, I kind of paid the ultimate price for that, and I really didn't like that too much. So here we go. Dirt's a little bit easier to clear out than stone, as you can see. And I think this is looking really good so far. I like that. There's a lot of like sharp edges. And I could clean that up a little bit later. Ooh, we've got a big open area up there now. Oh, there we go. Let's clean this side up a little bit. Get rid of some of that. There we go. Nice. I like it. I think that looks really good. Um, really need to get some form of flight that way I can, well, besides, you know, the whole air sigil bit. Um, but something to allow me to get around here and kind of clean this up a little bit. But let's go ahead and try to make things look nicer let's add some vines oh that is so cool all right let's add a few here and there oops uh i don't know if that was supposed to do that but that's okay we got a lot of vines to play with oh that is so cool let's add some up there Vine balls are very useful. You can use these too um, without decorate, uh, decorative purposes. Uh, you can pretty much use these to, I believe, uh, climb as well. Yeah, you can use them just to climb if you wanted to. So yeah, these are different than normal vines, pretty much. We could use these to, oh, well, that one didn't work. We could use these to get out of here if we wanted to, in all honesty. Um, let's see, maybe, maybe one up there on the side. Maybe one way up there. Nice. Looking good, maybe one up there. Okay, that one kind of went over. I don't know where that one's gonna go, but maybe one day we'll find it. Um, we got a fair amount of these vine balls, and I like the way this is looking. Now, I'm thinking I'll probably just kind of trim these up because I don't think these actually like grow like normal vines, and hopefully they don't. Um, that way we can actually play around with them a little bit more. So let's kind of clean this up just a bit here. One, two, three, four, and you. We're gonna grab our shears back out. I'm guessing normal shears will probably work for this just as well. Let's come down here. We'll take care of our creeper friend. No problem. Yeah, wait, what? That's a cicada from Twilight Forest. Seriously? <laughs> Someone over here by my altar, really? I think someone placed an... Oh, really? I'm going to have to find this thing. This is this might get a little annoying, but it kind of matches the theme, so maybe I'll leave it. Um, but that's a cicada making that noise from Twilight Forest. And I like the way this is looking. Honestly, I love it. Let's grab our steel shears out, and then we can kind of trim these guys up to a point. Um, just kind of make them different sizes and stuff. Um, some longer than the others, and some not. Just to kind of give it a little bit of variety, you know, and um, kind of hopefully help show its age a little bit, maybe. Because I believe... Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, something like that. See, that's starting to look pretty nice. I like it. Now, unfortunately, this might um, drag down my FPS a little bit, just because of the vines and, um, you know, how many different little, you know, curves and little designs that are in the, inside the vines there so might might drop it down a bit but you know what we'll we'll just try to live with it for now I don't see a problem with it let's see we'll finish making these look a little bit nicer I don't want them hanging down all the way to the bottom at least not all of them so maybe we'll just do this to a few of them knock that one down to there um, maybe have it to like there 
Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Now, lastly, I want to kind of work on the top up there a little bit. So let's grab our air sigil. Jump out of here. And if I grab myself these shears, I'm going to head out towards my little farm I got set up. And I, yes, I've been voiding this cobblestone. And I'm going to void everything else that I don't want that dropped carrot seeds from AgriCraft. So I'm going to grab this. We're going to head down and grab some leaves and start decorating up there a little bit. So, let's see, where do I have some trees set up for this? Hmm. You know what? We'll use this because I think I think this looks pretty nice. We'll use these origin um, leaves here from these uh, origin valley biome. Don't need too many. Ow! Whoa! 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 whoa. Okay then. <laughs> Y'all need to just calm down, fellas. Calm down. Probably not a good time to be doing this at night. Concussion creeper. You can chill out too. All right, so how many leaves did we get? 34, probably not enough. So let me do a little bit more collecting of some leaves here. I'll try to clean up this side here a little bit, I guess. And I'll meet you guys back in just a second. Well, this is what it's looking like from the top so far, and I think this is looking awesome. I love this. All right, so I got a little bit of uh, origin leaves here. I also went in and planted a sampling here just to have a tree around. I think that might be pretty nice as well. And we're just going to start placing some leaves around here just to... You know, give it a little bit of foliage. And we'll try to come out the edge a little bit as well. I'm going to keep an eye out on my mini-map. Hope mobs don't come sneaking up behind me and knock me down. Should be okay if I act quick enough like I did before with my air sigil. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't just fall myself. Because that would, that would kind of stink as well. Alright, so i got a little bit on this side. Maybe a little bit over here as well. I wouldn't mind trying to get this to almost completely close up because I think that would look kind of cool because the light should still come through because these are uh, the leaf blocks. Um, I just have it set on fast graphics at the moment. Um, just kind of helps my FPS a little bit. And I noticed I was doing a little bit of um, looking around and just like stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not really worried about seeing through the leaves and stuff. I'm just kind of happy with what I got at the moment. So let's set this up over here, like this a little bit. And then that way, we also, when we look up, we can see uh, the things just kind of growing around everything. I think that will work. I like that. It just kind of looks, makes it look, uh, you know, a little bit more grown over and stuff. A lot older, I think. Kind of get that, that old feeling. Yeah, I like that. Maybe just, just a little bit on this side, not too much. We could get some different colored leaves as well. That might not be a bad idea at some point. But I think this will work. So let's kind of just hop down here for now. In fact, we should be able to just take the vines. <laughs> yeah, right. So if we fall, not a problem. Not going to hurt us. Oh, yeah, that looks good from not up down here. <laughs> down up here. <laughs> it looks good from down up here. But I think that's going to do good for today, guys. I wanted to do just a little bit more. And let me just kind of uh, check around real quick and see. Make sure I got all the, the, the bells and whistles done that I wanted to do. So give me just a minute. All right, guys. And I think what I'm going to do to finish this off for today is I'm going to head up here and see what it looks like having a few of these trees grown up here around this. Ooh, 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 careful, careful, if I can actually get out here without dying. All right, so let's see, this is a good spot, I think. Let's place a tree, like, right here. Give it a little bit of bone meal. Come on. Okay, I'm guessing because these are origin saplings that they may not grow here um, in this rainforest biome, so I might have to switch these out with just regular oak trees, which thankfully I do have. And I will grab a few, let's see, eh, we'll, we'll just grab a little bit of that fertilizer and that'll be fine. So just a few oak saplings, a little bit of fertilizer, and hopefully we should be able to grow a few trees up here this time. Alright, so what do we say, like right here? Right. Grow us a tree. Alright, might have also been just because we had a whole bunch of stuff around it. Let's see if this works. Grow a tree. There we go. And this will give us a little different color around here as well. Oh, that did grow. Okay, I was wrong then. That was just the area. <laughs> Derp. 
I derp sometimes, guys. You know that. Let's kind of clear this off a little bit as well. Try to make it look as natural as I can. Let's see if we can get maybe a tree right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not bad. I like that. Wouldn't mind getting one a little bit closer in. Maybe, maybe over there. Let's see if we can get a tree over here in this area. Let me clear this down just a little bit around the edges. See if we can pop a nice tree right here. There we go. That's not looking too bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. And this should give us a little, little decoration from looking down up here. Yeah, there we go. So we can see different color, color leaves here and there. And I think that's going to be good. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I would really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye. Okay, okay guys, I, I know this looks bad that I made another lucky block. And this, this time I didn't add any luck to it, but... I promise you, I don't have a problem. I, I seriously, I don't. I'm good. I'm fine. It's just there's, there's a.